What was it that Simba saw that night? Was it a shooting star or was it something else? Let's watch and react to the star, a Lion King story. See, my son, how the stars shine. Like giant glowworms. Where do stars come from? Ahem, uh -huh. well, no lions know exactly. There goes one. It flew right by. Did you see it, Father? Yes, that was a shooting star. They go very quick. But, Father, why do they fly? My father once said that shooting stars spread important news. They fly from star to star so that all know the answers in the sky. Do they also sometimes come to us? Yes, however, I never had the luck to meet one. I will find one, Father. A nice shooting star, only for you. Simba loves his father's stories, but that one Mufasa told to him he particularly liked. All right, it's now time to go to bed. Rafiki and I must discuss something. Night, Father. Good night, stars. He's very young, but very wise, Mufasa. That's true. However, tell me, Rafiki, is it smart to give Simba explanations which might just be fairy tales? Have they harmed you? No, certainly not. Do you see? There's the answer. Who knows? Maybe shooting stars really are express messengers. Exactly. I will prove it precisely tomorrow. No, Nala. Today I cannot hunt grasshoppers. I must catch a shooting star. <laughs> Has a wasp stung you, Simba? Or did you have a sunstroke? I feel as strong as a lion, but if you want to fight, say no more. Come, Simba, save your strength for something else. Nala is a really clever girl. That she is. There. A shooting star. Maybe it sleeps there on top, and I will wake them early tomorrow. He is really cute. Morning, Simba. How's your head? Does it still hurt? You can laugh if you want. It means nothing to me. I will get a shooting star whether you believe it or not. Shooting star, where are you? Nevertheless... I hear somebody. Who's there? What do you want? I don't see anyone. Who caused the stone avalanche? Oh, it doesn't matter. When I am with the pride below again, I will have the shooting star. Hey, a cave! Certainly the shooting star has slept in it. Yes, there it is. I have found it. Stay there, shooting star. Tell me your message. Watch out, Simba. There is a steep drop there. Ouch! Rafiki! It is indeed nice here, but also quite dangerous. Check it out, Rafiki. I found a shooting star. Oh no, it's gone! They are very quick. But I saw it, Simba. I saw it. You probably are asking yourself, why am I here? I followed you because we like you, Simba. And the shooting star could have flown away with you. Then you would be on another planet. Sounds exciting, but I'd rather stay here. Here comes the self-centered cub, but with empty hands. <laughs> Where's your star, Prince? No reason to laugh, you rascal. Simba really has discovered a shooting star. I also saw it in the midst of the steep rocks, a rough area, but Simba had no fear. Simba was very courageous, Mufasa. You should be very proud of him. I am, Rafiki. Sleep well, my little prince. In this story, Simba, the prince of the Pride Lands, shares a touching moment with his father, Mufasa, as they gaze at the midnight sky. Simba's curiosity about the stars prompts a conversation with Mufasa, who explains that the origins of stars remain a mystery to lions. They spot a shooting star, and Mufasa shares a charming belief that shooting stars spread important news to the world. Excited by the idea, Simba promises to find a shooting star just for his father. However, he must go to bed first. Rafiki, a wise baboon who is present, inquires about the stories, and Mufasa ponders if they might be fairy tales. But when they see another shooting star, Rafiki suggests that these celestial events might be messengers. The next day, Simba attempts to recruit his friend Nala for the quest, but she has other plans. Simba faces mockery from three cubs, but remains determined to find the shooting star. He embarks on his journey, encountering danger along the way. Simba believes he's found the shooting star in a cave, but is stopped by Rafiki. Rafiki explains that he followed Simba and shares the idea that shooting stars may travel to other planets. Returning empty-handed, Simba is teased by Rafiki in front of the cubs, but Rafiki admires Simba's fearless pursuit. That night, Mufasa congratulates his son for his determination, creating a heartwarming conclusion to their celestial adventure. In essence, this story beautifully captures the bond between Simba and Mufasa, their sense of wonder at the world, and Simba's determination to fulfill a promise to his father, ultimately emphasizing the value of courage and family bonds.